Good morning traders. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a customized screener inside of Webull. This is Webull 5.0.6. It is the latest version of their desktop platform. If you're not sure if you have the latest version, click over here on the little hexagon icon and then click this and it'll show you you either have the latest version or you need to update. The latest version is 5.0.6. If you haven't updated, you should do so because there are many improvements and glitch fixes in this latest version. So now that we have Weevil open, we wanna build the screener. We're gonna click on the customized icon and then you're not gonna have this. This is my custom screener that I use and that's based off of my screener criteria, which is built into my day trading plan right here. You may not have a screener criteria. You may not even have a day trading plan, but this should help you either come up with one or have an idea of how to build one. So now I'm gonna show you how to build this step-by-step. -step. Yours will probably be blank at this point. So click on new layout and we're gonna click blank layout. This will automatically open the add widgets window and I use the quotes widget, which is found under the quote tab. I just clicked on that. And then the market tab will have our top gainer screener and the most active screener. Now that these are on the page, I can close this out and I can drag these from their top tab and move them around however you want. And I have them set up so that when I have this open on my laptop, you're looking at my desktop right now, that I can see everything in full view. So to resize these windows is a little bit tricky in Weeble. You wanna move the mouse cursor very slowly to the edge. Otherwise, if you see that scroll bar highlighted, it's gonna grab the scroll instead of the edge of the window. So now that that scroll bar didn't highlight, I can make the edge of the window uh, more narrow. And then I'm going to drag the bottom. Same thing here, if you highlight the stock, it's not going to let you make the window larger. See, it just grabbed the uh, scroll. So I'm gonna move the cursor up very slowly to the edge and I can see that I didn't highlight the stock and there we go. You can drag it down. There's only 20 stocks ever on the uh, top gainer screener. So you're gonna see the top 20 top gainers by doing that. And then I'm gonna move the uh, quotes widget over here and let's move the active screener here. Same thing, move the cursor very slowly up to the bottom and then you can drag it. Once you get used to it, it's very easy, but at first it's kind of frustrating and you don't really understand what's happening. If I wanna get rid of this blank space, again, bring the cursor over nice and slow. There's no scroll on this one, so it's, it shouldn't be an issue on the active screener. Actually it is, yeah, if you highlight the stock. So there we go, we'll just bring it over slowly. Now that we have that, we're gonna resize this one as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can make that big enough so that we see our float size. The SPY is an ETF, it doesn't have a float size, so you wouldn't see one there. But now let's link these all together so that if I click on a stock on the top gainer screener or in the active screener that our quotes shows us that stock. So the way you do that is by clicking on this little box up here with a horizontal line, set as group, pick whatever number you like. I'm gonna pick number two. Make sure they're all set to the same number. You can see the quotes just changed to the stock that I selected. So now if I click on a stock inside of the active screener, it automatically pops up in the quotes window. And the same thing if I click on something in the top gainers list, it pops up over here. And you can see on my trading plan how I pick stocks. I just look for the top 20 by volume. And if they are also a top gainer, which means it's gotta be higher than the lowest top gainer. Obviously 130% is higher than 10.98 or 11, whatever it is right now. So that's obviously gonna be on the top gainers list. Then I check the float size. Does it meet my float size requirement? Yes. And then it goes on my watch. So something like MVIS that's up 6.7%, I automatically know it's not gonna be on the top gainers because it's below that 11%. So I wouldn't need to even consider it. But if it was, then the next thing I would do is check the float size. It's too high of a float for me. So I wouldn't even worry about it. So now that we have the screener built, let's go up here and rename the tab. You can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it screener. Now you can save it. So click on save as customized layout. It's automatically gonna have the name in there that you put on the tab. So you click save. Oh, I guess I guess there's already a screener name. So let's put screener two. So we click save and there it's saved. And if I wanna keep things from being confused, uh, I'll rename the tab to screener two as well. And that way, if you change anything in the screener, um, let's say you add a widget or something and you want to resave it, you click save as customized layout and you can see that it's saving it as screener two. 
and everything matches now so it's nice and clear so that's the screener and you might wonder why I don't use the uh, screener that's also built into Weevil here um, which allows you to set all kinds of parameters I've experimented with this ever since Weevil 3.0 and no matter what parameters I set or parameters that I remove it always misses stocks that it shouldn't so the fix for that was to use the built-in screeners that come with Weevil on the markets page here you see the top gainer screener there's the active screener it also has a screener for the ETFs so that's where I came up with that and that's always on my customized page and that's why I use this screener and not the uh, Weeble screener with the adjustable parameters so anyway hopefully this video was helpful to you uh, if it was please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please do so I'm going to be making a lot more how-to videos with Weeble now that they have this 5.0 version out and quite a lot has changed so let me know if you'd like to see anything specifically and I'll try to address it in the next video or two. All right, as always, no matter what screener criteria you use, no matter uh, what you're trading, you should always have a trading plan going into every trade. Follow it no matter what. Take your stop losses, honor your profit targets, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.